Vice Garage Limited. James White speaking. What's your request? Yeah, sure. Just come around and drop it off. I will give you a call when it's done. All right, see you. Thanks, Dad. Nothing to speak of. Have a nice day at university. You at work too. See you. Take care. And remember, I'm always there for you, son. will be out tonight. We could make ourselves a beautiful evening in my place. Why not? It's just... I'm tired of hiding this from your parents. I think, why can't we just tell them? It's nothing you have to be ashamed of. Oh, I'm not ashamed of you. Only I don't want my dad to freak out. If he knew about us, I don't think I'd even be allowed to leave the house anymore. Hey Dad, uh, what are you doing here so early? Uh, he, he is... Uh... Hello, I'm Gaian. We have been going out for quite some time now. What the heck is going on here, Davy? I hope you know there will be consequences. And you fucking black bastard, leave my property right now. It would even be the best to go back to your country. Nobody wants to see you here. See you. I hope to see you soon. I don't think you will ever see him again, asshole. Look, I, I'm not angry with you. I just, I sort of raised the world, but it appears to be not well enough. I always wanted the best for you. I wanted you to run my garage and be a happy family man. And not some random homosexual guy studying at university and going to some random fucking party every evening. If the neighbors find out that my son, the son of James White, is gay, our family image will be destroyed. But Dad, it's, it's not like that. Listen, I... It's not like what? The facts speak black and white. I think we need to change some things in our upbringing. 
I will quit your studies this evening. You only got into bad stuff there. Didn't you see the letter we got from university this morning? What letter? I was thrown out two days ago. Look. What? What the hell could you have done making them throw you out? Dad, uh, I sold drugs. I'm sorry, but listen, I can explain. Drugs? You sold drugs? I can't believe you are doing this to me. What will the other think about us? Nobody will give their car to my garage anymore. From now on, you will learn a real job. No more parties and no more going out. I want you to earn your own honest money. I'm sorry for what happened. I just want to tell you that I really love you no matter what you do. I don't support your lifestyle. And to be honest, I dreamed of having grandchildren. But it's your decision. And never forget. I love you. I always love you. Always. Dad, I'm gone. I couldn't stand it anymore. You always say that you only want the best for me. But what you actually want is that I become the same perfect man like you think you are. You should accept me and kind the way we are and lay down your racist behavior. I really want to live my own life and not be told how to live it. Goodbye, David. It's time to announce the results of yesterday's 4th of July quiz. Whoever wins gets an exclusive helicopter tour over our lovely little village. And our winners are in second place, James White. And in first place, <laughs>
save the boat if you have to jump now. Under your seats are some backpacks. Take each one of them and then jump down. Alright, I'd recommend opening them before you reach the ground. Okay, so the door opens in 5, 4, 3, are you ready? 2, 1, jump! Holy crap, I think one of the parachutes is broken. I forgot to replace it last time, but I didn't like the white man anyway. Thank you so much. You really saved my life, Kain. I'm so sorry, my son. I think I now know that it is better for you to follow your own dreams. And Kain is quite a handsome guy. Why don't we go home together and have a meal? I think there are some stories to be told. <laughs> 